turn the recording <coughs> so life cycle of trade we talked about and uh, let me remind you again what is life cycle of a trade so life cycle of a trade is the same when trade starts what are the different different states the particular trade is going so when we talk about the life cycle of trade basically it is a new runnable and terminated high level only we have a three states a trade can be newly created trade could be in a uh, you know running state or trade could be terminated state in the sense their work is finished so when you are creating a trade it is actually a new trade whenever mm -hmm. trade is running it is a runnable state and whenever trade has completed their work that's called runnable i mean uh, terminated mm -hmm. and that's happening automatically but other than these three we have a totally six states when i say six states the six life cycles state what are those let's talk about that new runnable and terminated these three things are always mandatory if it is a thread definitely they have to come either in new or runnable or a terminated it is mandatory but mm -hmm. these three are optional it might be come or it might not come think about the other state waiting so a trade might be waiting or might not be waiting he got a start area and he has completed the complete execution he's not got any chance to wait but there might be a scenario if there is a multiple trade running simultaneously then a single trade have to wait for a certain time period and that time the state of a trade is waiting so you know in object class we have a wait method right mm -hmm. that comes yes. under the uh, trade communication concept so if you open any class any class and you just try saying that control o okay not here i will just try to press control a space bar here so you can see that under that you have a where is the wait method extends object and go to the object class here you can see the all methods which is going to be used so wait notify and notify all but if you look at this wait method it is just three times one is a wait with no arguments wait with single argument and wait with two argument okay so whenever yes. thread is waiting then the state of thread is waiting mm -hmm. there is something called timed waiting just now i saw you there is one th wait method which is taking time till what time this thread have to wait wait with mm -hmm. long parameters it means that this thread is waiting for a certain time period so that time the state of a thread is waiting and the last one is a blocked state when thread is in blocked state whenever there is a deadlock situation so deadlock is one of the very very important concept and when you are working on a multi threaded environment you have to write a piece of code in such a way that you don't have a blocking mm -hmm. a state or a deadlock i will mm -hmm. show you what is deadlock so whenever someone is asking you what are the thread life cycle you have to say thread life cycles are mainly six whereas three is mandatory and three is optional new mm -hmm. runnable and terminated is the mandatory states for every thread every thread mm -hmm. have to go with this states whereas three states are optional that is waiting time waiting and terminated or i mean blocked whenever thread is newly created it is a new state when thread is running it is a runnable state when thread has completed their execution it is a terminated state waiting thread is having waiting state waiting with 
certain time period it's a time waiting and when state is in deadlock it is a blocked state clear yes cool so the next question is coming what is deadlock so this is again one of the very very important questions in a core java site what is deadlock so deadlock if you if you read this word itself dead in the sense you know very well and lock in the sense what we can to remove it yes stop it so the meaning of this word is if it occurs until or unless the thread will not die that will be not fixed mm -hmm. so whenever deadlock is there you the only option you have is you have to shut down your system you have to mm -hmm. kill that thread means until that thread is not dead the lock will be not come out mm -hmm. very complicated scenario so that's the reason you have to be very careful while writing a code and let's try understanding that how it can be happen so let's say you have a class a okay and under this class a you have a test thread okay yes now since it is a non static it is a non static so for calling this method what exactly you need you need a object of this class right whoever wants to call this test method they have to create a object like this and then only they can call the test method agree yes mm -hmm. okay now try understanding what happen for a time being let's forget this notify and wait now so what happen there is one thread t1 t1 thread <laughs> trying to call this test method so what he need to do is he need to get a object of this a class and then he have to call the test method and that's mm -hmm. what t1 thread is doing mm -hmm. it has taken the a1 object because it is a non static method to calling any class member of non static you need a object now the t1 is a start executing consider this method is too long it is taking too much time to execute whereas another side we have another thread called t2 as you know cpu will not give complete time for this t1 he has a other thread also so to make a fairness what cpu will do it will ask t1 thread hey give your you have to stop or you have to hold let me go with the other thread execution now this t2 thread t2 thread is also trying to call the same test method he need a object lock and he taken this a1 object and he went there and start executing test now what is the situation if you look at this when this t1 has started first time he was having the a1 object now since he was waiting till that time cpu has called this t2 thread and t2 thread also came to execute the same test method with the same object now when t1 thread will be awake he will be thinking oh where is the a1 object but a1 object is already with the t2 so this situations came let me visualize you with the uh, something call ms paint mm -hmm. So let's consider. You have. You have a thread one, and you have a thread two. so this is called t1 and this is called t2 now for complete execution of this thread t1 he needed two resource when i say resource then it is a meaning of object so he mm -hmm. need r1 and r2 two object he need whereas other side t2 also need the same thing 
R1 and R2. Okay. Yes. Now, whenever thread T1 is started, what he is going to do? He took the R1 and started executing. Assume this T1 is not going to use this R1 R2 at a one time. He has started with R1 and proceed with the execution. After some execution, he need a R2 object. That is the resource mm -hmm. two. But as I told you, CPU will be not giving full time to this T1 to execute. Rather than what will be, T2 is going to start with R2. So this thread has started with R1. This thread has started with R2. Both mm -hmm. thread started working. When T1 completed the uses of R1, he need a R2. But R2 is now with which thread? T2 thread. Yes. So now this thread one is waiting to get a R2. But R2 has been already used by this thread T2. So he is waiting for the R2 resource. Now after some time, this T2 thread need a R1. But R1 is with whom? With T1. Thread 1 is started with R1. Thread 2 is started with R2. After some time, T1 need R2. T2 need R1. But now this thread is saying to this T2, hey, give me the R2. What this T2 is saying? Hey, give me the R1. So if you look at this situation, T1 is waiting for T2. And T2 is waiting for T1. T1 is saying, give me the R R2. And T2 is saying, give me the R1. Until or <laughs> unless T1 will not get R2 here, execution will be not completed. And T2 will be needing R1 until or unless T2 will not get R1, their execution will be not completed. The both thread R keep on waiting forever. Take a real-time scenario. You are asking someone, let's say, there's a two person and one person uh, is inside a room. So coming out from that room, he need to open the two lock. There's a two gate. Actually, he need to open the two lock to come out from that room. Other side, there's another person who is also in the same situation. He's in a room. He has a two lock. He also have to come out from the room after this two lock opening. But what someone did, one key has been given to one person, another key has given to the another person. Now what happened? One person opened the other lock. He came to the first lock now. And he's waiting for the second lock to open that door. Other side, other person again open the door and waiting for the another lock, a key for opening the door. Now this guy is saying, hey, give me that lock so that I can come out and give you the another lock. And this guy is also saying the same thing. You give me the lock, I will be coming out and giving you the another lock. I mean, a key. So if you look at this situation, both are locked actually. It's a deadlock. It is never finished. Same situation happened here also. Shana, understanding. Hello? Yes. 